Oh, it's a magic place. It's amazing. So I don't normally do the camping thing, but this has really changed my view on that. And these majestic peaks that just soar up from the coastline. We acknowledge that the Palawa and the Pakano people are the traditional owners of this land. Flinders Island is a place like no other, filled with stunning, ragged beauty and beautiful vistas everywhere you look. And getting there is, well, it's nearly a whole adventure in itself. We start to see the shallow sea formations, the beaches, the coasts. We start to see the Streslecki peaks. I just can't wait, usually. So I don't normally do the camping thing, but this has really changed my view on that. It's been an amazing experience because every night you come into the camp and there's a lovely comfortable bed, comfortable pod, lots of food. It's just great. The camp consists of individual sleeping pods where you will have seclusion being nestled amongst the bush. Everything will be warm and comfortable inside there with a clear ceiling so you can look at the Milky Way as you drift off to sleep. The main space you'll find warm cups of tea always and a deck of cards to play some games with your new friends. You're welcome here at any time and you'll also find your guides here in the kitchen. Food is a big part of your trip to Flinders Island. Your guides will prepare a menu from a range of local and fresh ingredients. It's ever-changing, but it's guaranteed to be delicious. The camp has been designed to have a small footprint. This means that everything we do is off-grid, from supplying power for the camp with solar panels to collecting rainwater from the communal structure for our showers, to our composting system for our toilet to allow us to be completely self-contained. Flinders Island is home to an incredibly large amount of diverse flora and fauna. On our daily walks, we're lucky enough to be able to walk across beautiful and vibrant coastal scenery and experience birds and wildlife throughout the trip. And I was really struck by the raw beauty of the place, particularly the colours, you know, the blues and turquoise and whites, the ocean and beaches and waves and the red lichen in the granite and these majestic peaks that just soar up from the coastline. The granite is the backbone of the island. It's everywhere basically. It's the domed peaks, the highest points, the striking colours, the lichens, the outcrops on the beaches and the beaches themselves. It really does make the island, literally and figuratively. It's just been a really great pace. The guides have been so helpful. I just found the whole experience just very satisfying and very rewarding. It feels wild, feels untouched. And virtually the whole time we were here, we were the only ones walking along these incredible beaches. 